happened? Hey everyone, Ryan Reed here, and today I'm talking about the brand new film in the Halloween franchise, uh, Halloween Kills, the 2021 film that just came out. As of this recording, it came out yesterday, actually. But uh, in case you're not aware, Halloween Kills is a sequel to Halloween 2018, which obviously came out in 2018, uh, and that itself is a sequel to the original Halloween film from 1978. This film, uh, I just watched it last night. And normally when I have a really strong reaction to a film, I like to give it a little bit of time to kind of digest it. Make sure that it's not just like those immediate, you know, reactions that are influencing what I'm talking about. But I have stuff to talk about. And this is a film that's already been incredibly polarizing. Um, some people love it, which I can understand. And some people think that it is the worst in the franchise, which I can also understand. For me, it sits somewhere probably in the low middle. Um, it's not the worst in the franchise, but it's not great either. And as a heads up too, I'm just a guy on the internet talking about movies he likes. You know, if you are interested in watching Halloween Kills, go watch it. You know, watch it for yourself. Obviously, there's some people out there that are really digging it. So form your own opinion. You know, if you dig it, awesome. If you don't, that's fine too. But here are kind of some of my thoughts, as vague as possible. I don't want to go into really any spoilers. The film has a lot of stuff going for it. It's the same creative team behind Halloween 2018, which which originally, I when, when I first saw that movie, again, talking about those immediate reactions, I loved it. You know, I walked out of the theater, I was super hyped, and I was like, oh my gosh, this might be the second best in the franchise behind the original. In the years since that movie came out on home video, and I've revisited it a couple times, I, I'm kind of more lukewarm to it. I think it does still have a lot of good stuff to it. I think it's well shot. I think there's some great performances in it. I like, you know, the approach they take with Michael Myers. There's a lot of good stuff. But there's also a lot of stuff I'm kind of meh on. I, you know, some of the comedic relief characters that we spend a little bit too much time with are, are fine. Some of the subplots are just meh they don't really work for me. And Halloween Kills is what happens if you take the things that work about Halloween 2018 and you shrink them down to a tiny amount and then expand on all of the things that don't work in Halloween 2018, in my opinion. This film, okay, let's start with the positives. Michael Myers is probably the angriest he's ever been in this movie. Uh, his, some of his kills are, are brutal um, and he's basically just on a rampage. Um, the film pretty much picks up pretty immediately, there's, without spoiling anything, there's some, like, flashback stuff and everything, but, like, uh, it pretty much picks up immediately where that, uh, the last movie ended, um, and yeah, Michael Myers, again, great in this, I like the way they portray him, he's very intimidating, um, again, some of the kills are very brutal in this movie, uh, but effective and good kills, some of them, I think, were intentionally played for laughs, other ones I, I don't think were, but were kind of funny, and then some of them were just good. You know, there's some there's some cool stuff going on in this movie, especially with Michael Myers. Again, the way the film is shot is still pretty solid. It's that same kind of visual style that 2018 had. There's a pretty big surprise at the beginning of the movie uh, that I liked, although the execution wasn't exactly perfect. I think overall it worked pretty well, and I, I enjoyed that. I liked that, again, there's, there's callbacks to the original film, and they're trying to tie things in fairly well, and I did enjoy that. But that is maybe all of the good stuff that at this moment I can really say about Halloween Kills. The movie has a ton of problems. Uh, it has no narrative pacing. It has no, you know, narrative drive at all. It just kind of moves from scene to scene to scene. It feels very disjointed. Um, there's no character arcs. Nothing happens with anybody. It's hard to tell if there even is a main character. We spend so much time in this movie jumping from, you know, extra characters. We, we do not spend a lot of time with our main cast in this film. Instead, we're jumping around and jumping around. And if you did not like those, like, extra characters that they had in, like, Halloween 2018, like the cops that have the discussion about, like, oh, you know, you, you're boring, you have a peanut butter sandwich. So I had to make, like, that, like, two, three minute scene that goes on that doesn't need to be in Halloween 2018. Yeah, imagine that, but it's like 15, 20 minutes that sometimes we're spending with these characters. And I don't know 
why they chose to do that. It makes no sense when we have solid main characters that we could continue to go back to. Again, the script is kind of a problem. There's some really, really bad dialogue in this movie. Um, and, it, and I hate kind of knocking it for things like that, but like some of it is just bad. Some of the callbacks, like I said, are, are pretty enjoyable, while others are, are feel uh, contrived. Like why, why are certain characters in this movie? Why do we spend so much time with certain characters? Why did they watch Halloween 1978 and go, you know who really needs to be in this movie? This character that has like one line in the movie. Let's, yeah, let's include them. Like stuff like that where it's like, I think what they're trying to show is that they're fans of the original, but that worked better in 2018, and here it just does not work. They're like, they're not tied enough to the original movie to make it satisfying like 2018, but like they're not doing enough of their own stuff to make it its own thing, like Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, which I know people hate, but at least that film has an identity. This is just a series of scenes thrown together that are is a middle ground between a trilogy that they're doing, and instead of it actually being its own movie, it's just like, here you go! There's some scenes! There, woo! Did, did you see Michael Myers? Alright, now we're gonna spend 15 minutes with this character. And now, oh, whoop, well, now we're back to Lori, but, like, not enough. And, like, like why? <laughs> why is this movie like this? Um, obviously, I had a very strong opinion on it. And the, the, the problem with it is, is I think there is a good movie here if you were to cut out... 20 minutes. It's an hour and 45 minutes with five minutes of credit. So really it's an hour, 40 minute, you know, movie. If you cut 15, 20 minutes out of this movie, you'd probably have a much better paced movie that feels more focused, feels just like it's all about getting Michael from point A to point B. Um, and that's okay. I mean, you could make the argument that the other films have need, you know, in the franchise, have needless characters as well. But you don't spend 15, 20 minutes with the needless characters that we are all, we all know are, are gonna die, and they don't add anything to the plot. That's the problem. I don't mind them introducing new characters, but if they don't add anything to the plot, what's the point of having them? So if you, if you cut this movie down, you'd have a really solid 85 minute slasher. Or the other way you could have gone with it is made this a two hour movie. It either needs to be longer, so we kind of get some exposition why some of these characters are important or why things tie in or things like that, or it needs to be way shorter. As it is, where it stands, it's just kind of a confused mess of random scenes thrown together, some good with Michael Myers and some bad that go on for way too long that ultimately don't add anything to the plot. And I think the film thinks that they add things to the plot. They think they, the film thinks the scenes are more meaningful, but as a film as a whole, they don't add anything. You, you Every time one of these scenes happens, you feel like you're building to something and then it goes nowhere. So this movie needs it needed somebody to come in either in the script phase or in the editing phase and just fix some of it because it's kind of a mess as it is. And maybe it's a film, honestly, that I'll appreciate more once Halloween Ends happens, the third film in this in this trilogy, because maybe it is that. Maybe it's just connective t tissue, and maybe it's a film where if you watch it as a trilogy, it suddenly works better. But as a standalone film and a sequel to a pretty solid, if flawed, you know, kind of reboot slash sequel to the franchise with the same creative team, for me, it was a major disappointment. But again, I think it kind of depends on your outlook on it. And I think some people are going to love this movie because of the brutal kills and, you know, the kind of intensity of Michael Myers, and they're going to be able to look past all that other stuff. But for somebody like me who really, even in a slasher film, you kind of have to have some semblance of a plot. And if you don't, it doesn't, it doesn't strengthen your movie at all. So for me, it was a disappointment. Again, not the worst in the franchise, but not the best by a long shot. Who knows, maybe that will change down the road, but what is your opinion on Halloween Kills? Did you enjoy the movie? Did you absolutely hate it? Or were you like me, where you're kinda in the middle and kind of disappointed with it? Let me know in the comments down below. On top of that, if you wanna see more film reviews like this, you can check out Impromptu Reviews, my off the top of my head film reviews on this channel here. If you like horror movies as well, check out Fright Films. That is my analytical horror movie review show. You can also check out some of my artwork videos, all kinds of stuff on the channel. So please subscribe if you wanna see more. Ring the bell to get notified, as all the YouTubers say, and I'll talk to you all next time. Bye.